This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com oh, What's up people, Dobson Wilson right here, welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Sadly, this is the last Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening of the month, I know. Dobsy, stop doing too much Pokemon, it's too overrated, please! It's because Yu-Gi-Oh! are really slowing down with their product releases, but like I said, I will try and get some different ones as, as I can go along, but at the moment I'm trying to open up all the new stuff as I go along, you get the gist. Anyhow, GeekerTree.com, please check them out as always, they are amazing. I'm going there nearly every single Sunday to try and do tournaments, and today we are opening up 10 packs of the Grand Creators. I'm excited for this set, I've heard a lot, a lot of good, good things about this set. There are a grand total of 35 rare cards, 15 supers and 10 ultras, so there's no standard commons in this set. And also, 15 of these cards can become collector rares. I'm hoping to get one of them collector rares out of 15 packs. It's highly doubtful, but I'd like to get myself at least a secret or anything like that. So, without further ado, let's start opening up the Grand Creators. Let's hope we can get a secret, or a collector's, or a nice, or a lovely ultra rare card. So we got ourselves, we got ourselves a punk, nice bit of stuff from the Clash. I'll take that. We got um, ties of the brethren, solemn strike. There we go. That's going straight into my deck. So I'm definitely use that. We got ourselves another punk, armory call, psychic wielder. And a super rare Exeter Stella. Nice. But definitely Solemn Strikes. I'll definitely be using them because I know I've been speaking to some friends and also colleagues who's working who not colleagues, what am I talking about? Um What did what are they called again? Uh, rivals in the tournaments who saying that definitely get Solemn Strike in my decks and I can. We got Gilia the Skyblade Musketeer. Nice. Solemn Strike again, I'll take it. Another one, I'll have it. We have Extra Beetle in Sectors. We got Draco back the Rideable Dragon. Torrential Tribute. Another Punk. And nice, we got Insector Picafula. Which, if I recall, I heard that Sebastian plays this card in in the card um, in um, Geeker Treat. And this actually really actually has helped him out quite a little bit, so that's nice to know. Like I said, I'm not going to sleeve up all the rares because that'll take too long. I like I like to get myself a full place of Solemn Strikes out of this out of these packs. But at the moment, two super rares. We need some ultras or a secret. We know the punk, nice emergency teleport, good card. A uh, raise bell, the star juster, insector ladybug, insector extra stag. Hidden Armory. Oh, there we go. We get an Ultra Extra Sister Milkalius. Nice. That's a nice card indeed. Let's sleeve that up. Let's go ahead and stack these rares back up. So nice. We've got ourselves a Super Rare. Two Supers and one Ultra. Let's keep these Ultras going. Maybe a secret if we're hoping. We've got Insector Hornet. Um... Exo Sister Catavaya. We got World Him. Nice to have this card come back. It was a secret at one point, so it's nice to see it as a rare. Emergency Teleport. We got Zalem the Dark Palace. More Punks. And it's Exo Sister Astophil. Okay. So at the moment, one Ultra. But we've still got loads of packs to go through, so come on. Let's see what we can do. We've got another Punk. Insector Centipede. Armory Call. Insect Emanation. Nice retro card right there. Good for your Insector cards. Dark Palace. Star Juster. And Birth of Re Resurrection. Nice. That's not bad. Like I said though people, haven't opened up a lot of these packs before, so like I said, if I get a new card, I'm very happy with it either way. It's when you open up too many of them and then you start getting duplicates, that's when it starts to get a bit worrying that you're not having good luck with you. We got Insector Hopper, we got World Him, Reliable Dragon, Starlit uh, Papillon, 
Insect Sister Erin, Hidden Armory, and an Exo Sister Elias. Okay, more Exo Sisters. Don't mind getting the Exo Sisters. I'm probably, maybe, if we might be lucky, we might get ourselves a good meta deck out of the Exo Sisters. All the Insector cards would be nice too. At the moment, though, we're still hunting some random cards, and plus, hopefully, a secret or a star like rare. I mean, a collector's rare. We got more punks. We got, ooh, this is a nice looking fusion card. We got Ouya Punk Rising Carp. Cool. I like these, I like these punk cards. These are really cool. A uh, Psychic Wielder, Hidden Armory, Insect, Trench Tribute. And guys, we got ourselves Insector Dragonfly. Good to see this card as a super rare. I remember it being a, a normal standard rare back in the day. If I remember, I think that was like in Hidden Arsenal, if I recall. I'm not 100% sure. Oh no, Hidden Arsenals were all supers and secrets. Probably must have been still a super rare, but I remember it being an, a rare at one point. Musketeer, Psychic Tracker, nice. Trench Tribute. We got a uh, Caspital, Ladybug. Nice! There we go! We got another ultra rare. We got Rite of Amaris. Nice to see that. Some more cards for the fairies. I'll take them. So nice. We got two ultra rares out of 10 packs, which I cannot complain. I really cannot. So very, very happy with that. Let's see if we can get ourselves a third ultra rare or a secret, which would be nice. Like I said, there's only 15. There's, oh no, there's no secrets. There's 10 Ultras, 10, 15 Supers, and 15 of them are Collector Rares. Let's try and get ourselves one more Ultra, that'd be nice. We got Goki Pile, Start Paloom, Extra Stag, Tracker, another Punk Rising Carp, another Super Rare, Exorcista Debrine. A lot of them are XYZ cards, which are quite cool, but there's not a lot of rare cards, you know, effect monsters or spells or traps for them yet. Not seen any yet. Probably might be in the new set. Forest of Lost Flowers, Ties the Beneath, Punk, Insect, Extra Beetle, Insect of Sword, nice, and ooh, Oh Punk Z Armin, nice, a tuna card, I'll take that. Nice to see a punk card actually being an effect monster, not being all out um, different cards. Well, that's nice indeed. So, pretty much out of. Um, 10 packs, if I recall, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, 10 packs, we pulled about, how many ultras? We only pulled two ultras, which I still cannot complain, I really can't, and like I said, I don't think I pulled any duplicates, to be honest, so that's really good. So here's our ultra rares, we got the the right, and Exorcist Michalis, then for our super rares, we got Dragonfly, Elias, Resurrection, Astafolia, we got the Insector Link card. We got Stella, Ella. <laughs> we got the Punk and Gibberin. So, even though this is the last pack opening for Yu Gi Oh! for this month, but don't you guys worry because hopefully this month when it comes to Pokemon, it's going to be even more insane in the membrane. It seriously is going to be. I'm making sure of it. Without further ado, though, people, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as always. And as, as everything is everything, Please check out geekretreat.com, they are amazing. And with that being said, the people I'm going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad, two ultras, a few supers, not bad for creators. But let's hope we can get some better pulls for Pokemon. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!